do you remember when I sat here in one of my Monday videos and slicked my hair back and I thought I looked really silly but at the same time I thought that would be such convenient hairstyle for summer when you're away somewhere and you don't want to constantly do your hair especially you know fine short hair a lot of you actually really liked it so I was thinking what could I do to make this hairstyle work better for me and I was thinking one way would be to do a, a very strong eye or nice romantic eye but strong lip and big earrings so we are going to try that today and we'll see if I can get away with it if not here in my everyday life maybe when I go on holiday so I am going to use shallow Tilbury's eyes to mesmerize in rose gold and I'm also going to use Charlotte Tilbury's pillow talk. The reason is that I can't really overdo my eye look with this palette you know <laughs> you know with me more is more so even when I'm trying to do a delicate eyeshadow look <laughs> it never works out so this one is so light and gentle that I think I cannot overdo it. I've got this um, synthetic sort of fat bullet brush. This is some old brush from Amazon, I think. So, um, but I think Refa not long ago came out with uh, brushes like this. So I am going to put it all over my mobile lid, right to my crease. And you can build it up, you can make it much more saturated than that. Which I'm already doing. <laughs> So I will do the makeup first and then we will do the hair. This is my second day hair by, by the way and it actually looks pretty good for second day hair. If you are new here and want to see how I style my hair after I've washed it and why I still have volume the next day I will link it here in um, the video so you can see how I prepare my hair, how I style it, that I have volume for days uh, but I, I obviously don't have the side extensions which you would see in that video. Okay, I think I will go over it with this um, shimmering eyeshadow as well. I want shimmer on my eyes, definitely. Rifa Auto and also that will set that cream eyeshadow although those cream eyeshadows set pretty well by themselves I think I'll put too much here what a surprise me putting too much I might take that light shimmery one and just put it right in the corner Now I will take that pink one on Rifa 01 and go with it above my crease. These eyeshadows are still very saturated but the actual colour is not too dark so I can't really overdo it. And I love using this palette in the summer when I want something shimmery on my eye but not too much and it's easy. I think I've told you before about this palette. Um, you don't even have to be that careful. Rifa 15. You don't even have to be that careful with the application because, I don't know, it just blends itself maybe because it's so light. Now on the same Rifa 01 I will go to this brown one and just shade a bit the outer 7 
again as you can see it is not very dark eyeshadow what is this Huda Beauty eye smudge I will go with that darker brown on my lower lash line I need to slightly now stretch my eye to do this because the skin under my eyes is so loose now <laughs> that when I do my makeup there moves everywhere and that's it for my eyes I will do the mascara now Actually, I sh shouldn't have put so much mascara on, even though my lashes are quite good, but I want my eyes pop, but not with the eyeshadow. I have some sort of frame to my eye, because I think with this very simple, slick hairstyle, there has to be some focal point, not my little pinhead. <laughs> So I have the Ardell Demi Pixies, I really like these lashes, they are quite spiky so you can still see the eyeshadow, you know, they don't block your whole um, eyelid but I just always like them, I've used them for years and years. So I will ap apply those. Okay, the lashes are on eventually. I remember now why I don't wear these very often. They are not very good quality. I love the shape of them, but they are a nightmare to put. They never want to stick here in a corner. They just try to ping off. So I feel like obviously the band, although it has that little invisible band, pings off. So honestly, it's a nightmare. Anyway, I'm going to take a any black coat pencil and just put a bit of that black here to blend that lash, which is trying to ping off again. And then I'm going to put some of it just on like one quarter of my eye and pull it out here a bit, almost like giving myself extra lash here. And that's eyes done. So as you can see, the eyes are just nice and shimmery, not too dark. And the lashes hopefully make you focus on the eyes. Now let's do the lip. And of course, I'm going to use one of Charlotte Tilbury's Electric Poppy maybe, or Velvet Underground. I, I like to mix them as well so this is the electric poppy and this is velvet underground I think I'm going to put velvet underground on first and then I will go over it with electric poppy and for the velvet underground I always use the MAC beat lip liner And then I will go over, so that was the Velvet Underground, I will go over it with Electric Poppy. Okay, let's try the hair. <laughs> so I have just one of those elastic bands. And now I want to brush my hair quite flat but I don't want it to flat at the back because you know a pin head you have to make sure that you that you don't do it this way that you do it down and behind your ears you can always use some sort of smoothing agent 
gel or oil. And then I'm just making a ponytail right at the back, which is very pathetic. I'm trying to give myself a little bump so it's not too flat. That looks terrible, doesn't it? Okay, you could do one of two things now because this is so small. If you have any of the, like a scrunchy hair piece, or I've got this, it doesn't go with my hair color anymore. I've had this for 10 years. They don't do this anymore. Maybe you can find something similar. They were amazing. I think they were from Hair You Wear. It was called Glamorama, I think, because this one is so full. Sometimes you get this type of clip on hair pieces and they are not that full but you know if you've got pathetic hair like mine you could attach that and that looks a bit better or you can buy those fake bands or you could take a twilly and tie it up that makes it a bit better or you could have a big bow and big earrings so I've got these gorgeous earrings that I bought a while ago in Spain they are made out of porcelain I think or clay they are very delicate But I think maybe you sh should have some sort of bigger bow that it sticks out and you can see it. Can you see I can't help it? I need to give myself some height. And obviously spray it to death with something. Especially if it's windy. I don't know if I smoothed it enough at the back. Well, what do you think? I still think I look stupid. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good look. But when in doubt, just stick big glasses on. And that looks much better, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, my lovelies, let me know what you think. I still don't think even with the lovely eye and bright lip, I don't think I like it. But I might try next time with a strong eye, you know, like a smoky, dark eye, and maybe that would look better. I remember someone said in the comments last time that this hairstyle probably suits more women with dark hair, and I agree. I think blonde hair doesn't look so good, unless it was completely like scalp bleach blonde, you know? But I think if I was on holiday, I probably could get away with it, especially with the sunglasses. Anyway, that was <laughs> quite easy, very easy, sleek hairdo, uh, but obviously it won't suit everyone. I wish it did suit me because it's very elegant and very easy to do and so convenient, especially in the hot weather. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.